Okay, so we're back again. Let's start working on the layouts and making this look like a how a blog would possibly look. So let's go in and the first thing I want to do is click on the main and I'm going to um, add a class called blog content. And what I want to do is click on that class and add a rule to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a rule of margin top of, let's try 50 pixels. Okay, yep, so that looks great. Okay, so now we've got our blog page sitting lower than our nav bar here. Okay, so let's go and clean this up. So let's go in here and go article. And let's, oops, let's close this first. I oh know I can't put it there. Close our rules first. Let's go article. And we'll drag that into our row here. Uh, actually, what do we want to do? How do we want to set this up? So I'm thinking what we might do Uh, okay, let's drag that back down again and let's nestle that under there. So we've still got our, so everything's in an article now, but I want to change this to, instead of being um, 12 wide, I want it to be 8 wide. And what I want to do is I'm going to add it in another column. Actually, I like that. Let's go this add that in and let's get rid of that one there delete there we go so let's add that in and let's change that to prop we want it eight wide and on a small device let's make it four wide let's add it in another column And this column, we want to make it four wide prop, four wide. So this will be our widget area, and this will be how our content will look. So we'll only have um, one button there, which will be read more. So let's visualize how this is going to look. Um, so we're going to have a sidebar here with our, for a custom sidebar, we're going to have our featured image and we'll have our of our post image then we'll have our post title then we'll have our post i want to get rid of this button here and then we'll just change this let's go edit code and instead of saying uh, button we'll say read more so we're going to have then we'll have a link to read more and then we'll just keep stacking down the page like that so that's going to be our blog feed and we'll show say four four blog posts per page and um, they'll be able to paginate them so that's that's simple that's that's how we're going to set up our blog content so let's just go in and file save this and let's create a place, place to save it let's create a new folder here and we will call this um, bbpg dash theme so Beaver Builder Pine Grove theme, and we'll just save everything in there. Okay, and it prompted us to open as a project. It prompted us to reload the page, and here we go. Let's just go and have a look at that. Let's go into my desktop here. Let's open this folder over here. Um, mm, 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 mm. Where do we put it? Where do we put it? I'm sure we still put it in the desktop. There it is, BBPG theme. So we can see it's loaded in our jQuery and JavaScript that we need. It's got our bootstrap content because we called it a bootstrap theme. It's got a JSON file, which is dynamic for 
um, pine grow so it keeps saving to this as we go so it's almost like a backup and let's just open this with my code editor which is brackets and let's just have a look at the code that it outputs so you can see here it is really neat code so there's nothing nothing malicious about this code it renders very 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 clean code okay now that we've saved that what we want to do now is go into our top in our tr uh, tree here and click on index and go over to the WordPress and you see there's no WordPress loaded so we'll click on this cog and we'll go and activate WordPress now what we can do is click on site click on WordPress site this is the master page and we call this the name theme so I want to call this um, pine grow for fever and we'll call this BB West Coast digital BB pine grow and now it's going to prompt you for your themes folder so I will go into my drive which is and create a new folder here and we'll call this BBP BB Pine Grow theme and click OK so that's in there now the next thing we want to do is we click on the body and we want to add our body class then when we click on we don't then we click on the main and what we're going to do is we're going to click on site content for get header get footer and that's going to separate our header and separate our footer so we don't have to worry about duplicating those at any time now if we go ahead and save this and then we want to go up and export the theme and if we go back to our site here we go up here it's themes we can see we've got this pine grove for beaver builder if we click on live preview we can see thumbnail and label read more column title but none of this is a dynamic so let's um, come back in the next video and what we'll do is we will set up the branding and we'll set up the um, navigation to all be dynamic to work with our with our um, WordPress site and we'll also look at adding all our content our dynamic content in here and setting this up for WordPress so we're now about to dive into the WordPress aspect of the loop and all that so exciting times ahead within Pine Grow. I'm sure this will be the moment you've all been waiting for so make sure you join me in the next video